All right, so these four definitions at the top, um, initial value and rate of change um, are just another way of saying intercept and slope. We'll go over that in just a second. Um, slope we focused on last week. Now we're just adding to it. Um, but before we move on to anything else, we have to define this. So the change in Y over the change in X, which was on your last set of notes. It's also known as the rise overrun, and we can put that in words, the change in y divided by the change in x. So the change in Y over the change in X is this um, symbol, rise over run, which is what we did on the graph. And in words, it's the change in the Y values divided by the change in X values. The Y intercept is where the graph crosses the y-axis, so it's that vertical axis, it's where it crosses it. More importantly, it is where x is equal to zero on that graph. So x will always be zero, the other number um, will be your y-intercept. So if you were using ordered pairs to talk about the y-intercept, zero would be the first number always. All right, initial value is our starting amount. That's what initial means. So if I were to say that Demaya was starting a savings account with $100 and she was going to save $20 a month after that, what's her starting amount? What is her initial value? The 100 and then her $20 after that is her rate of change. So I want you to write that that's the starting amount. It's also known as the y-intercept. So if we were to graph her savings plan, it would cross the y-axis at 100 because that's what she's starting with. All right, rate of change is just another way of saying slope. It's our unit rate or the amount at which things are changing. All right, now, this equation is what our focus is for this week. This is called slope-intercept form, where we have M as a number and B as a number. So M with X, the coefficient of X, is where the slope is located. The constant B is what we call the y-intercept. looking at an example. I just said, and I had you label it, y equals mx plus b is slope-intercept form. The reason it's called slope-intercept form is because that number that's in place of m is the slope. The constant that is in place of b is the y-intercept. Okay, so for example, if I had y equals 5x plus 2, what is the slope? One. Five. What is the y-intercept? Two. Two. Okay. If I were to look at this on a graph, we used graphing last week. We were um, finding the slope on a graph consistently.
Now I said that the y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis. This vertical number line is our y-axis here, okay? And so it needs to cross at two because we said the y-intercept was two. Two is located, I'll use a different color. Two is located right here on that number line at positive two. Then to use our slope, what's a fraction for five? Five over one. Yeah, five over one. That's the rise and run. So we need to move from that point that we just, the y-intercept, up five. One, two, three, four, five over one. And so that would be our next order pair. And that's where our line would go through. Okay. We can also do that in the reverse. I can give you a graph and you should be able to read off of that graph, the slope and the y-intercept. Okay, so last week you were given a graph and you found the slope. This week we're just adding one more component to it and that's where is that y-intercept located. So let me give you this example. If this is where our graph crosses and it goes up one, two, three, four, five over one, then this is our graphed line. Okay, so what is our slope and what is our y-intercept? Well, the y-intercept is where it crosses this y-axis. So where does it cross here? Portland? Yeah. Um, it crosses at the... Right here. It crosses at the red dot on the line. So that is at what number? One, two, three, negative four. So the y-intercept is negative four. And our slope, counting from this point to this point, the rise is one, two, three, four, five over one. So five over one. If I were to write my equation, what is the slope? Five, 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 five negative five, right? x five um, plus negative four. That would be how you write the equation for this line.